What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel and I am the co-founder of Flourish Lashes. Today's video, I'm gonna be telling you why I stopped lashing. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's jump into why lashing actually became hard for me because I'm sure a ton of you guys can agree with this or relate to it in some way, shape, or form. Now, the first thing that I really dealt with was the fact that it became hard. It became hard because it was physically daunting. I would be a fully booked lash artist, which was amazing, and that was the ultimate goal was to become a fully booked lash artist. And once I did get there, the physical pain was no joke. I literally would have... I, I, I'm pretty sure I was developing carpal tunnel. Um, my eyesight was terrible. I have zero depth perception at this point. Like, I, I mean, not zero, but you know. Um, I feel like it was so difficult. I had to get new glasses because my eyes were being strained constantly. And then not to mention the back pain. Now, I know a lot of you guys actually told me to get, I should have had a saddle chair. I did try the saddle chair. It didn't work. I think it was just the level of how much I was bending forward. And it was due to my eyes, you know, getting worse. It was just an overall terrible experience. Experience at that point um, I remember literally crying going to bed because it was killing my back now that doesn't mean I didn't love it I still absolutely loved lashing I loved my clients I loved my transformations it was the best part of my job but honestly it was just overbearing in terms of the physical pain and it started to really make me not hate it but I really was changing my perspective of how many clients I wanted to take, how many, um, how much pain I was willing to take, and you know, what that looks for me on a regular basis. Now, another part of that and why it became so hard, it's because you become a slave to your clients. Now, at the end of the day, having a fully booked calendar is again, the ultimate goal, but with that also comes the idea of you having to be available for your clients. Now, of course, we always talk about making sure your clients are pre-booked and ready to go. And yes, that totally does help. But once you get a ton of clients, it gets really hard to get that free time for yourself or really try to make free time for yourself or even just have a life, a social life outside of that. And obviously once you love something, you want to do it more. So even when I had clients that were like, Hey, it's my birthday. Hey, I I'm going through something. Hey, I have to go to a wedding, whatever the case is. I literally did adjust my life to fit them in and who, was the one suffering, it was me, I was suffering. My life definitely took a turn. I remember one Christmas, I barely celebrated Christmas and I am a Christmas fanatic and it was because I was so obsessed with my clients. I wanted to make sure everybody got in, everybody got an appointment because I just felt terrible and I really wanted to make their holiday, make their experience just that much more memorable and make sure that they felt good during a time they really needed it. Okay, now what did I do about it? Cause like I said, I'm no longer lashing. So what happened after that? I honestly just worked harder. I leaned in and I realized that there was more to this business than just lashing. And I know a lot of lash artists out there, a lot of the industry leaders are telling you that if you want to make more money or you want to have this amazing lifestyle, there's better ways to do it. But personally, lashing did it for me. And I am so proud to say that I am who I am today because of being a lash artist. Something that people frowned upon years ago has taken me in a direction I never thought I would be in before. So I am so happy to share that with you and share with so many other people how you can do that for yourself because there's definitely a way that you can do that for yourself. Now, is it easy? Absolutely not, but it is possible. Now, the first thing I did was try to think bigger than what I could see was right in front of me. Some of the hardest decisions I had to make was literally me envisioning something that was bigger than what I can physically see. And that is just not how the human brain works. We can sometimes only facilitate or, you know, process what's physically in front of us or what we can see is in reach. So thinking about something that was beyond that was so difficult to actually convince myself that I'm going to get there and these sacrifices that I'm making that I can physically see myself making today will lead up to something. And that was something I was so proud of and so happy that I did. And it really did pay off. Now, that being said, what I saw beyond what I can see physically was that I already had I think it was maybe three years in the industry and I knew that I was a great lash artist and I was a fully booked lash artist. So my next step was if I'm so good at this and people clearly think that, then why can't I take what I know and put that in a program where I can help other lash artists and I can actually teach other lash artists that same skill. Now, that being said, was my 
training program great or even good then? No, absolutely not. Because I did not know what I know today. I didn't even understand the mere fact that being a great lash artist and being able to create beautiful sets didn't translate into me being a great educator. That took me a good few years to understand. And today I have become so passionate about teaching people that because I just see the industry gap and I see that that's exactly why the industry is going down in the training aspect. I'm sure all of you guys have seen this and all of you guys have heard about, you know, lash training being a scam or become a six figure lash artist. It's a scam. It's not true. And yeah, some of them, most of them do end up being scams because they're focusing on the wrong things and they're focusing on this cookie cutter experience or they're trying to create a clone of themselves in their students, which is literally impossible. It's just not the way that you can go about creating a successful lash artist. The goal is to teach fundamentals. The goal is to teach you how to do the skill and then create your own path coming out of it. Before I continue on with this video, I do want to let you guys know that this week is Black Friday. So you know that Flourish has obviously hooked you guys up. So you do not want to miss this sale. It is going to be 40% off everything Flourish related. But not only are we giving you guys an amazing deal, we're also going to be hosting a content creation workshop. This is going to be everything you need to know on how to take the next step into content creation. And it's going to be featuring a special guest from Flourish that is Mary dear to us. You do not want to miss this. So once you purchase from Flourish, you are going to be enrolled into our content creation workshop. Don't forget. Now, what I can do for you today based on everything that I've learned in my eight, nine years in the industry and you know what I've learned the hard way, I definitely don't want you to make the same mistakes I made because there's definitely an easier way to do it. And I have figured out that the best way to approach this situation in the industry, this gap in the market and really tackle the bad lash training is to start at the very top, which is why I've introduced my Lash Educator Accelerator program. Because the goal here is not to, again, make cookie cutter lash artists or copy and paste lash artists. The goal is to literally take everything that you as a lash professional know and turn that into a program for your students. Something that's going to be digestible, simplified, and easy to follow for your students where you can take the skills that you've learned over the years, the techniques, the tips that have worked for you and incorporate that into the fundamentals that it takes to be a great lash educator. Being an educator and being a lash artist are two completely different jobs. The sooner we learn that and the sooner we can understand that, the better we're going to be at our job and the faster we're going to get to the goals that we need to get to because if you don't understand the problem, then you can't find the solution. And the solution is understanding the fundamentals of what it takes to be an educator and understanding how we're gonna be flexible to our students and understanding how we're gonna effectively communicate what it is we're trying to say. Effective communication is key when it comes to actually teaching your students. And that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you in my program. And I promise you guys, you are gonna leave this program a completely different person. We're gonna switch your perspective, switch your mindset from being a lash artist and turn you into a a professional lash educator. Okay, now that being said, I have literally scratched the surface when it comes to being a lash educator. And there is so much to know and so many amazing things to come. And the growth you experience is just out of this world. So that is why I also am hosting a webinar next Friday where we go through three secrets to get you from lash artist to lash educator. You do not want to miss this. It is so amazing to see the transformation that just comes out of this webinar. So don't forget, it's going to be on Friday and I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can sign up for that and jump on it whenever you're ready. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that I've sparked something in you because that is the goal always with my content. I want to get you to bigger and better things. I am always here to help. So if you guys have any questions at all, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Head over to my Instagram page where I talk so much more about this and don't forget to follow us on Flourish Lab and I will be back with something new next time. Bye.